no matter what path you choose to walk, and whether you believe or not, you can be certain that a fairy is watching. Hello, fairy finders and fairy seekers. Welcome to Fairy Quest and another episode of Real Fairies in Real Photos. Today we're on the Mystic Trail because it is a trail that has given so many amazing photographs of fairies. We'll also be in 2018 because I have so many photos that I have not gone through as yet. So we're going to start to do that. Okay, so if you're ready, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the trail. We can see this little being climbing over a leaf. Enlarged, he's blurry due to his size, but we can still see his hat, face with one eye, an ear, and one full arm and hand. His other arm and hand are obviously in motion, and his foot is there too, though not super clear. He stands out in the photo to the left. I believe this fairy is female due to the pink flower petals she seems to be wearing. We can see her stylish hair, both dark eyes, and one ear. We can also see the lower part of her body, but her legs must be behind the large leaf in front of her. As with many of the fairies, she is green in color, blending in to keep herself hidden from human eyes. Joining the female fairy in the previous frame, we have another fairy who is easily seen. We can see the hat, which blends with the leaf behind her, her face with both eyes, nose, and mouth, and we can see a full arm, leg, and foot. I've marked both fairies in the photo to the left, so you can see how close they are to one another in the photo. This is an interesting being who I believe is, perhaps, wearing a helmet of some kind. I show an arrow that says hair, but this may be part of the helmet, as is the interesting mask below the eyes. If much of this being is a mystery, there is no question that we are seeing eyes that are looking off to this being's left. And before speculating on the mask, know that this photo was taken in 2018. Here we have two beings, a little guy and perhaps a dragon or animal friend. The animal friend has its head tilted and may have wings. We can see its eyes, nose, and chin. The little guy's dark shoes, arm, and face profile are easily seen. He has his back to the animal friend. I've also marked the fairy from the previous frame in the photo on the left so you can see how close it is to this one in the larger picture. This fairy seems to be wearing a witch's traditional conical hat. She also appears to be lying on her belly in the leaves. We can see a very clear face with both eyes, nose, mouth, and chin. As most of the fairies do, she has changed her color to green to blend into the surrounding leaves. There are two fairies in the enlarged photo above. We can see the face with eyes, nose, and ear of the one on the left, and also his arm and hand clearly. The one on the right has used the sunlight and the grass to come forward. We can see her hair and her face in profile with one dark eye, her nose, and her mouth as she looks at whatever the other fairy is looking at. I've also, again, shown you the close proximity of the fairy from the previous frame to these two fairies in the pic to the left. There are four fairy beings in the enlarged photo above. Two appear to be children. One looks like a teen or a young adult, and one is an older man with a hat, glasses, and beard. The children and the young adult look like they might be playing as though they are riding in a boat. It looks like the young adult might have a long stick to push the boat. <laughs> there are many other beings in the enlarged photo above. Can you see them?
This little fairy being appears to be playing a game that uses a stick for either a fishing pole or a gun. You can even see his hands, how he is holding the stick. We can also see a very large, black, odd-shaped hat, one eye open and the other closed as though aiming, and one foot as he is crouched down on and behind the leaf. Here we have two fairy beings. The one on the left in the above enlarged photo looks like a leprechaun. We can see the profile of his face quite clearly, including one pointed ear. The other fairy being looks a bit like a woodsman with his beard, rounded facial features, and a kind of hillbilly type hat. We can see his face straight on, but there are leaves covering the right eye. Two very different fairy beings. Are they aware of one another? We have a very blonde fairy being sitting behind a leaf. We can see her face and profile with a very clear nose, eye, and mouth, also one foot, and a head full of blonde hair that goes to about her shoulder in length. It was the blondness of her hair that brought her to my attention. This fairy being is actually really clear. I have enlarged and lightened the cropped photo above so you can see it more clearly. Obviously, it is blurred since the fairy is small, but we can still see the face and profile with a huge eye, eyebrow, and a nose. We can see an ear and a hat. We can also see one hand for sure. In the larger photo to the left, it looks like this fairy is holding something between two hands. Now this fairy being is an interesting one. It is very good at blending as its color is perfect to the leaves. That doesn't happen often. Despite this, I spotted him because of the dark eyes. He has pulled a leaf over in front of himself in an attempt to remain unseen. You can see his hand holding on to that leaf. We can also see his upper body, but his legs are hiding behind the leaves in front of him. This fairy being isn't very far from the one I shared with you in the previous frame, as you can see in the photo to the left. Above, it is so easy to see this fairy's face with eyes, nose, and smiling mouth. We can also see one arm and hand as he holds on to the stem of the leaf he was pulling toward him to try to hide from me. He looks like he was having fun hiding with that big smile. Apparently, this fairy is curious, but very cautious and shy. We can barely see him, but he is obviously there. We can see his face straight on with both eyes, his nose, mouth, and perhaps a whiskered chin. Not totally sure about the whiskers. I believe we may have caught this fairy with his hand in the proverbial cookie jar. We can see his face clearly with one eye, his nose, and his mouth. We can also see that he is reaching down, stretching his arm to get something from what almost looks like a bubbling cauldron below him. I certainly hope it's not bubbling as his hand is submersed in it. If you look closely, you can even see the cuff on his sleeve. 